Okay, I am RJ Esco. My guest today is Elvira Kirsch. <laughs> uh, what do you think about uh, that Malcolm Tan fellow? <laughs> Um, <laughs> anyway, um, wait, wait, I think I'm in, I think I'm at the wrong podcast. <laughs> no, no, of course not. Um, what are you thinking with this? Uh, um, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so where to begin? Uh, first, the interview at the beginning, um, what was the congressman's name? Hurd? Will Hurd? I, I was like, uh, I... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, how do you remember all these politicians' names? When yeah. you, you know, anyway. Um, I didn't think that was a very good interview. Yeah, I was like, hmm, do I dislike John Kasich more or this guy, mm. you know? Um, I felt Bill was speaking over him, which is a tendency he, mm. he exhibits occasionally. And, mm. you know, the guy didn't, the guy, I mean, the guy didn't really have that much interesting to say anyway. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah. I think Bill had like brought him on because of his district being, you know, mm. so close to the Mexican border and so, you yeah. know, covering so much of the Mexican border and he wanted to talk about wall stuff. They didn't even really talk about that. Yeah. Like he asked him about immigration and then he started talking about the dreamers, you know? Mm. I was like, that is so last year, you know? Like, yeah. what kind of, nobody, that issue, we've moved on, you know? Yeah. And when I think of a sort of, um, you know, stereotypically unlikely Republican. I think like Dinesh D'Souza or Ron Christie offer a little bit more. Yeah, he wasn't. He wasn't interestingly <laughs> unlikely. Yeah, he was just peculiar. Yeah, is yeah. It's just like, nah, you know, it's because it's like you know he wasn't really saying very much anyway. Um, but yeah. things things picked up on the panel, even though it was like the John Meacham Comedy Hour. <laughs> oh, I mean, we need to talk about we need to talk about John Meacham really because I, uh, I I. <laughs> For a guy I don't like that much, I really always like his appearances in the show. Now, I know you don't exactly feel the same way. Um, I mean, it would be a sin to dislike him too strongly. <laughs> I just, I just, I just tire of this brand and this dynamic between him and Bill, and it's just, you know, can't he just, uh, I don't know, take over from, from Willie Geist on, on Morning Joe? He's just, I mean, because, like, th this veneer of presidential seriousness oh. seems to be gone at, and now it's sort of just... Uh, yeah, because early days, when he was first appearing on the show, he was mm. almost like the, uh, yeah, the sort of mature person in the room. Mm. And now he's like, he's like let loose and become a bit goofy with yes. each, each appearance. Yeah. Like, I feel like in an alternate universe where this is a more popular show, mm. there would be like gift sets of, of his like weird little mannerisms mm. and facial expressions and things like that. Yes. I find it incredibly endearing. It's endearing to an extent. I just, I'm, <laughs> I'm just kind of like, come on. Uh, and and like the way he, uh, the way he sneaks in like little history facts every time he answers a question. Yeah, really that's funny. a little bit like, 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 like what do he say? Like, I think this is this person is the so and so in this situation who was the person who said such and such to John, Joe McCarthy. If you were all wondering, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> like he drops these, he drops these like niche American history references. Yeah, for his own benefit. And then, and then, like, then, like, talk, then, like, takes a pause to talk down to everybody and explain them. And yeah. like, John, we know. Yeah, you ask him about the octo mom, and he starts talking about Grover Cleveland or something. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, dude, yeah. can you be? You I know. I still like him. I mean, we talked. We talked last week about Dan Savage and how maybe, uh, maybe they need to stop booking the same people so often. Yeah, I mean, that's been a long running issue with the show. But John Meacham, especially, you know, like I'd almost have, I'd, I'd rather have an annoying session with. Rayhan Salam or someone mm. rather than John Meacham lately. You know? I I don't know. Maybe I'm soft, but I, w I would make an exception in John Meacham's case. Yeah. 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 yeah it's okay. And um, what do you think of Bill De Blasio? I have not researched him extensively. I don't know where he stands on you know so the Sawari Arab Democratic Republic. Or... <laughs> I don't know where he stands on that issue. Yeah. Well, I for, actually I'm probably not even saying that right. But Democracy Now, <laughs> to continue our past time, does have a rather good documentary that I didn't uh, watch much of. But um, uh, oh yeah. So I. I but oh, I, but I, it is germane also because I think Juan Gonzalez, um, the Democracy Now co-host, has written book or something about that but anyway um he he struck a chord with me yeah you know he's he's he had the more he seems more in touch with the sort of you know the progressive insurgency and he's the only one 
that is like trying to like gain credibility within that sphere, and arguably he yeah I, was a real part of it in New York. Yes, um, yeah, he's brash. I found mm. it, you know, like yeah, yeah. Um, like it was just refreshing to hear somebody like him from his background say that yeah. you know Democrats needed to be more openly to the left. You know? Yeah, it's like. Everybody knows that, but not many of them are saying it. Yeah, I hear you. I just don't tend to use the word brash a lot myself. So. Well, I don't use it germane very often either, but I'm going to make a note of it and try to. Um, funny words. Um, a panel dynamics. It was three people that basically agreed with each other. Yes, that's a, that was again. another kind of a thing. Um, in a, yeah, so wasn't so much a debate mm. as like a, you know, three people chiming in on what Bill was saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, I'm trying to remember Jennifer Rubin from the Washington. Uh, yeah, what was the other, what was the guy on the left? Uh, he has a thing I'm on Snapchat. Back. Snapchat guy, I'm Bill sorry. Humby or something. Humby, yeah, that's, that sounds right. That's probably not. Yeah, we'll we'll edit that out in post. Um, yeah, he you know he was very. Uh, he didn't leave a mark on no, me. No, exactly. You know. Je- the, uh, je- my disagreements, my, my, what stood out for me more was my, was my, like, I'm not impressed with Jennifer Rubin's well, She's not very good at speaking extemporaneously. No, and she's also just like... Which is like, that's the one thing you have to be able to do on a show like this. Yes, and she's also just like, I write for the Washington Post, I endorse mm. the consensus, I bow to the religion of, you know... Distant bipartisan analysis, um, blah de blah, you know. Mm. Yeah. So again, I, I wanna, I wanna have a, I wanna have next week's episode be one where people, you know, are getting really, yes, getting really down to it and actually debating. Yeah. I want to have like Steve Bannon and AOC just like, you know, yeah, fireworks. I want. Yeah, when I she want was something. supposed to be on the show she last was. year, and then, and was Steve Bannon. He was uh, on the show last year. He, he was, was. He was on it at some point. Right. Yes. Yeah. 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 It was. He was supposed to be on. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure what became of that. Yeah. 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 Bill de Blasio. Um. Yeah. What else is uh going go, going on there or stands out in comedy fashion? I don't know. It's uh the jokes. You know, a lot of them weren't landing. Yeah. Yeah. There was a couple. There was another good one besides Malcolm Ten. What was? That? I mean, that wasn't. That, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It was cool. And new rules. Well, Climate change, you know, I, I mean, there's not much to object to there. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Although he did get an interruption. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I could hear, yeah. I could hear that woman laughing loudly, too. I mean, mm. that's not a criticism. Mm. It's just like, you know, sometimes you hear one of those the people in the audience and you're just like, you know, they're going to shout out. Mm. I wasn't very surprised. Yeah. Yeah, this kind of, to me, I don't know if other things stand out for you, but to me, this sort of was sort of a a sort of bleh to basic, like, this is kind of what you get in a kind of... This is like pot boiler. Yeah. Pot boiler, yeah. Yeah. It's like, Trump is crazy, gotta get serious about climate change, (laughs) progressive... What are the Democrats right. going to do? <laughs> yeah, what are yeah. the Democrats going to do? I, oh, I liked. I liked uh, the other funny thing was yeah when Bill was talking about the guy from Indiana who's who's running these. Oh the yeah, stuff. yeah. I can't wait to see the Saturday Night Live skit of the, the like Democratic uh, debates. You know when there's they're going to have to have like twenty impersonations or something. It'll be really funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Lincoln Chafee will be back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He sees my faith. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, fashion-wise, uh, I liked Rod- John Meacham's blazer, even if it is a little bit old-fashioned. What suited him very well. Uh, I liked I liked Sam Chapman's jacket as well. Yeah, I was thinking that. Uh, the congressman from Texas, his tie was too small. It didn't suit it. You skinny. Know? It was and the, skinny, and the knot was so tiny, it looked like a shoelace. And red for his particular skin tone? I, uh, yeah, I yeah. No, style? not, not I great. Know that's... Um, yeah, so... Bill de Blasio, his suit looked all crumpled. Oh, I didn't notice because he's so tall, the... probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess it is kind of hard to, you know, you're craning your head like that. But... Yeah, anyway. So, yeah, I would have to give it to, to Meacham and Bill looked looked best tonight. I would give the episode, uh, if we were to if we were to condense blah to basic to a, to a 
a score, I would say this episode is is B minus. Yeah, I was gonna say B, but maybe yeah, something. It's something like I almost don't want to be too harsh on it to be. It wasn't bad. Yeah, no, but not I, bad. I'm just not. I wouldn't say bad. Yeah, I'm just not like kapow. Mm. You know. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. Um, next time. Yes, next more, time. More Malcolm Ten. Yes, and Elvira Curse. Yeah. See you. <laughs>